Hello, welcome to my shop again. Uh, I've got a friend that's helped me out. Uh, he happens to be a uh, avid fisherman, and he is heading a group that's uh, trying to help protect the brook trout here in a local Boardman River. And so I'm going to do this uh, for him. Now, there's been a change of plans. This uh, was going to be a two-part series because I lost some video, but uh, now I found it. So this is going to be three parts. The first part was the outside. The second part I'm going to do now is finishing the outside with shear scraping and doing the bowl. And then the third will be the carving with the little brookie. Uh, so stay tuned. Okay, here I'm uh, just kind of chewing up and cleaning up the the outside shape but this isn't the final shape I'm going to re revisit this later but I'm coming out from the bottom to the rim with a handle down and a pull cut I'm going to work on this uh, again a little bit backwards to to normal if I was going to do a bowl I would do the outside first now I'm going to do the inside first because this really is uh, just kind of a uh, a palette for my carving I'm going to carve my fish on here so um, I'm leaving it real thick and uh, so there's not going to be a uniform wall thickness to my bowl both elements the inside and the outside will influence each other so uh, I'm going to make the bowl shape here uh, so that it has uh, a balance and a continuity to the outside shape for this inside bowl shape is just like any other bowl you got to go from the rim down to the bottom so you have supported fibers and uh, bevel supported cut each time I make a cut you have the bevel support all the way down to the bottom doesn't take any strength it's a finesse thing not a strength thing here's a good close-up of the push cut and uh, the camera is very close here, uh, close, and the shavings are hitting it, so it's uh, bouncing around the camera a little bit. Sorry about that, but see my fingers? I'm just gently pushing forward. The tool rest hand, the finger hand, uh, controls the pace while the handle swings around and directs the bevel all the way across and down to the bottom. I have now I've got uh, the nice rounded bowl shape inside uh, this area here is going to be the palette of where I'm going to do my carving uh, it's got to be pleasing all the way around because I'm not going to carve all the way around I'm only going to carve on one side uh, but now I have to uh, uh, refine this line make a nice pleasing arc here and I'm going to tuck this bottom in. I'm probably going to make this a little bit shallower. Come in here like this with my foot and uh, finish the bottom area also uh, as far as I can reach. Uh, then we'll be able to sand all this and reverse it to do the inside of the foot. While we're finishing the outside contours here we want to be real cognizant want to be aware of the grain orientation the outside would be just like a regular bowl the grain orientation is going cross grain bowl oriented not spindle oriented okay so now supported fibers I have to go just like I would a bowl from the bottom to the top okay so I'm going to have to do a pull cut to pull the fibers down so that I've got supported fibers as I go all right now the outside is uh, got to go from the center out also to have supported fibers here have to go downhill to the grain okay I'll be going this direction grain orientation is a critical issue we have to pay attention to that we have to use that 
so that we don't tear the the end grain fibers up we don't have to do all the sanding to correct the damage that we've done so my goal here when i get on done on the outside of these shapes like this is to start sanding with 320 grit sandpaper or maybe 220 but uh it'll be pretty clean there just the surface left behind uh is going to be good because I'm going to take the grain issue into consideration and go the correct way. So now I've got the basic shape established. Let's clean up the surface with a shear scrape. So I got the handle down, scraping. That's a good view of a shear scrape and watch a little tiny shavings come off there. Very gently, very deliberate. Little tiny angel hair shavings. Okay, let's clean up this bottom. I've got this with the tail stock up. And we're just going to take light cuts. And go slowly. This is just driving with the friction against a piece of waste block with a pad on it. I got this bottom area done now. I, I like to do a little detail in there so it looks like that bottom has a turning element and that looks like it's been sanded off on a disc sander or something. So I got a spindle gouge here. I'm gonna make a little Roll a little bead and then clean up the inside of the bead with a steep angle from the spindle gouge. We got have this all sanded now and, and nice. I guess we got lucky here. Look at the grain character. Nice and balanced. Just what we were after when we removed the the wood water between centers. Okay, I've got the uh, the turn done now we're going to do a little carving on this and uh, uh, show you how I do the the shallow relief carving so stay tuned for that in the next uh, video and please support my sponsors uh, Doug Thompson and Mike Hunter uh, good tools that uh, that I work with and I've got a new sponsor uh, star bond uh, CA glue has come on board and uh, we have used them for decades now uh, our club uh, uh, buys in bulk in case quantities and uh, sells it back to our club members and uh, has a little discount if you're a club member and want to initiate that uh, if you're one of the board members of a club give Starbon CA glue a call and uh, see what their, their discounts are for uh, club uh, participation. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for the, the next uh, video. Uh, coming up soon will be the carving and the embellishment uh, of the, uh, the little brookie on, on the side of the vessel. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.